Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jesse Swift, and if you're new to the channel, then welcome to the Think Now Network. You guys all knew that this was coming. This is my review for the second trailer for Suicide Squad. This trailer premiered during the dawn of the Justice League special on the CW, and man was I looking forward to it. I had like a week-long countdown for this special. I loved the first trailer. I thought it was very unique and different, and we're getting a kind of comic book movie that I feel like we really haven't seen before, as well as a just completely... Uh, star-filled cast with Will Smith, Margot Robbie, um, Jared Leto. I mean, there's just so much to take in here. Um, I was super excited. And now uh, what I wanted to do is I was going to try to wait until the end of the night and then film a live reaction so you could see me uh, watching the trailer for the very first time. And I'm sorry, guys, I did not have the willpower to do that. So uh, I still want to take an opportunity to um, watch and share this with you guys kind of give an analysis and some of my first thoughts and then you just join in on the discussion in the comments down below and just make sure to like and comment and subscribe for the video and without further ado let's get started is this the real life let me out of here dog please I love the first shot we see of Harley Quinn with the pink slippers sipping tea. I well, I'd say it's Killer Croc doing the push-ups. Finally, see Diablo using his powers. Look forward to Viola Davis. Dangerous people on the planet. They're bad guys. Worse are the worst. Such great music choice. Like I couldn't have picked something better myself. Was this uh, cheerleading trials? I don't typically like Jai Courtney, but I like him as Captain Boomerang, and he's just ripped in this movie. He's a crocodile. Killer Croc looks way better than I thought he would. Burns people. You're possessed by a witch. Mm, she's just crazy. What was that? I could kill everyone and escape? Sorry. I'm not 100% sure on how I feel about the line delivery um, in some of these shots, but I think it might work better in context. You're going somewhere very bad. Whoa. Do something that'll get you killed. Let's go save the world. I can't wait to show you my. Jared Leto is frightening. I cannot wait for his interpretation. Let's do something. I think we're going to have a lot of comic relief in this film between the characters. What are they fighting? This movie just cinematically looks so gorgeous. My favorite shot of the whole trailer is Joker just falling into that vat of acid or whatever it is. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys. It's what we do. Perfect. Perfection. Well, I would love to see what you guys think in the comments down below. But uh, until then, I just want to give you uh, my thoughts on the trailer. I think the best way to start out is just kind of um, what we get from each character. Once again, I think uh, Harley Quinn and Joker steal the show. It was really great to see a few more lines from Jared Leto, uh, giving us a little bit more of insight of what kind of Joker he's going to be. And I think he's going to be the most sadistic, psychopathic Joker that we've had yet, which is really saying something. I feel like Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger really brought it, but now we're getting a unique take that could be just as good as their performances. Um... And then I think Margot Robbie was born to play Harley Quinn, and I'm really interested to see um, how she comes across on film for the very first time. It's a character that is relatively new as compared to some of these other characters in the film. She just came out of the 90s from the Batman animated series, and her character has changed a lot over the years. So I'd like to see what their interpretation is in this film. Uh, Jai Courtney was one of the cast that I was um, least excited for when they were added on. Um, however, you know, he's Australian, Captain Boomerang's supposed to be Australian, looks like he got pretty jacked up for the role, and he looks like he's pretty good comic relief, uh, as is, so I'm not going to, um, be too negative on that, and I'll just be cautiously optimistic for when the movie comes out, 
Uh, my gosh, Killer Croc looks so good. When the first picture came out of the full cast, I thought Killer Croc looked like a terrible Halloween costume. But uh, now getting a better look at him with the teeth and in action, I'm really glad that they went with practical effects. Originally, I thought I would have preferred CGI, but seeing him in action, I have uh, completely changed my mind. Um, we finally get to see, this wasn't really clear for me in the first Suicide Squad trailer. I didn't know enough about Diablo to know what his abilities were. Um, but in this trailer, you can see that clearly he can control fire, uh, which makes him pyrokinetic, I think, which is, that's very cool. And, um, something we haven't really seen since, you know, one of the older X-Men movies. So it'd be really cool to see that, um, utilized in a Warner Brothers movie. And I love just the overall flavor of this movie. Um, the, you know, all villain cast. And they're just really doing something different that we haven't seen in comic book movies, much like um, how we're getting Deadpool coming out here. Just the the focus on the anti-hero, I think, is really cool, and I'm looking forward to it. It's very different than Batman v Superman, just like Wonder Woman is. Uh, looks like it's going to be very different from both of these films. So I'm very excited to see that. Um, and I love the music in the trailer, the way it was cut. Uh, this movie, I, I have a completely different feeling about this movie now than I did when I saw the first trailer but the funny thing was even after the first trailer it bumped up to my second most anticipated movie and now even more so I just have a different idea of what to expect my expectations are actually um, even higher now and I don't know if that's a good thing um, the only thing that might bump that down is maybe when we get a Doctor Strange trailer finally but until this point um, or until then I'm not really sure um, but yeah I think the costume design looks great I'm not sure who the villain is. I really don't think it's the Joker. I don't think that's his role. Although I do think that he's going to be integral to the plot. Uh, I really like to see how they play with the character and you know how he comes to interact with like Batman. We know Batman's going to be in the movie, even though we didn't see him in this trailer. Um, but man, there's just a lot to absorb. Uh, crazy things going on. I would like to have seen more of the Enchantress, but maybe they're hiding her for good reason. Um, I like Joel Kinnaman's character, Rick Flagg, kind of doing the breakdown of each of the character and giving them their introductions. Um, I just really feel like this movie is a lot more unique than a lot of what we got from its competitors at Marvel. Um, no, I'm not a complete DC fanboy. I'm just uh, calling a spade a spade, and I see DC giving us unique flavors with each movie, whereas Marvel's kind of um, been a little bit bland and formulaic in their last few entries. But, uh, I mean, I don't have a whole lot else to say. Um, if I miss something, please let me know, and I'd love to talk to you guys about it. But uh, until our next video, may the film be with you. Always. Take it easy.